Hello everyone! On this lesson we are going to start with the modifiers. The modifiers are over here and are the ones that controls in a kind of layering work here how the hair behaves and you can add a modifier over here. We have anim wires and a lot of modifiers here and we are going to start checking one by one when the series goes over and over with all the things that we need to create all the modifiers. But first we are going to start with the very basic modifiers that is going to be the clumping modifier. As the name says, we have the clumping method that is going to help us to create clumps. Something like that, that should be two clumps, but we are using a region map to create the division. If you just create the clump, it's not going to do anything at all. And if you come here to look at the warnings, you can see that the, it says no clump guides found. And that means that we need to create guides for it. And for that, you can go here where you see setup maps. And this is where you create the guides. First, you have no clump guides found. And again, you need to be to have your project set because it depends on points. Points over the space where it creates or generates the guides. If you hit on generate, it's going to create guides or points over all the faces that you have selected. As we selected here everything on the model, we have on everything here. If you only select one part, you will see them only on that part. When you click on generate, you're going to see that they are randomly generated based on the density. If you want to put a lower density like 0.2, you can see that we have less clumps. Each of them is going to refer to a clump. So let's put a density of 0 0.1. And now we have the maps created. Let's hit save. And that's going to generate me an amount of clumps over here as you can see them. Now. I'm going to go back here because I want to explain and um, how to create maps here. If you have a lower, even lower density, 0 0.01, you can see that we have less clumps. You can hit save and we have even less clumps over here. To see the actual clumps with colors, you can hit on color preview and this one is going to be able to visualize where the clumps are working and how are they affecting your groom. Now, for this one, if you want to have clumps just on the guides, don't hit on generate. You can leave that on the number that you want, but you will need to click on guide. If you hit on guide, you can see here that the base of each guide now has a clump or a point that defines a clump. When you hit save, you will be able to see that each guide now behaves as a clump. If I move my guide here, let's go back and let's put the lock length because if not the moving is going to be weird and not as I want it to be. So let's put it here. You want you will be able to see that the clump it's following the layer perfectly. So that's a quite easy way to define simple and tunic rooms with your guides. Now that we have this part here, we are going to check how to create custom clumps. If I want to create just a single clump, let's say that I want to divide this clump in two parts, I can come here and put a point. As you can see, we have the possibility to click on this space and where I click it, there's a new clump there. So I hit save and now I can see that there's a new clump. Now it's not following correctly the guide, but you can control everything as you want on the clump system. And this is how you control the maps over here. The density is going to be that, the mask is going to be and work exactly the same as the density mask that you can create here. And it's going to be the same mask that you use here on the clump modifier. The display point length, it's going to be the length of the display point and maps, we are going to see that on a later time. Also, I forgot to tell, 
that if you do not want to have a point here you can just click it with control and you're going to delete a clump even if it is from a guide so you can actually control how to work with the clumps and you can delete a point with just clicking control over here and control click and you're going to delete the point and also you can manually create a point per guide and that's going to solve the problem away thank you for following this tutorial and see you on the next lesson